This episode is supported by The Great Courses Plus. Okay, you're probably wondering where this video is going. I'll give you another chance to watch again. The truth is, it's going nowhere. This video is meant to elicit an emotional response, but it's not a very fun or exciting one. You're meant to feel bored. It's pretty effective. From a psychological perspective, boredom is defined as the aversive experience of wanting but being unable to engage in satisfying activity. And it requires three different factors. First, you have trouble paying attention. Second, you become aware that you're having difficulty paying attention. And third, you blame your inability to pay attention on your environment. This definition makes boredom seem pretty similar to other emotional states. For example, if you're having trouble paying attention and you know you're having trouble but you blame an important phone call you're expecting, we call that anxiety or excitement. On the surface, emotions like anxiety and excitement feel more powerful than boredom, but physiologically, they're actually quite similar. When scientists looked at how your body responds to boredom, they found two major things happened. First, your body's skin conductance level decreased. That's how well your skin conducts electricity. Studies have shown that when you're engaged, aroused, or interested in your environment, your skin conductance increases. So it's no surprise that experiencing boredom causes it to decrease. And second, boredom causes an increase in your heart rate and levels of the stress hormone cortisol. In addition to increasing when you're bored, cortisol is also part of the body's fight or flight response. An increase in heart rate and cortisol could be your body's way of telling you to find something more interesting so you'll stop being bored. And there are lots of reasons for you to want to stop being bored. It sucks. In fact, boredom sucks so much that even pain may be preferable, so long as it's engaging. One study had participants rank the pain of a mild electric shock, and even had them state a dollar value they would pay to avoid receiving that shock. But when the participants were placed in a blank room for 15 minutes with nothing but their own thoughts in the shock button, over 40% of them, mostly men, voluntarily shocked themselves at least once. One man pushed the shock button 190 times. Only 15 minutes was enough to drive people to do something that they would previously pay to avoid, just so they would stop feeling bored. So how do we avoid feeling bored with things we have to do without giving ourselves painful electric shocks? Well, studies have linked boredom to the brain's reward system, suggesting chronic boredom may be a lack of activation in that part of the brain. To re-engage that part of your brain when you're getting bored with something, try turning it into a game. This may be why flashcards are such an effective studying tool, even for really dry material. Pairing the otherwise boring activity with chewing gum or walking may also help you focus. Or you could try working in a group or with a friend or co-worker. Just make sure you're keeping each other on task. Boredom sucks, but it's also a part of life. People from all over the world, from all different cultures, experience boredom at some point. Luckily, we live in a world where fun things are just a mouse click or pokeball away. But maybe avoid videos of men folding laundry. Turn all these pants inside it. Thanks to The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this episode. The Great Courses is an online university where you can watch lectures taught by professors from Ivy League schools and other top universities around the world. Go to thegreatcoursesplus.com forward slash braincraft and get access to a library of different video lectures about science, math, history, literature, or even how to cook, play chess, or become a photographer. New subjects, lectures, and professors are added every month. There's one course called National Geographic Polar Exploration that has one lecture all about penguins. Penguins. With The Great Courses Plus, you can watch as many different lectures as you want, anytime, anywhere. Help support my show and start your one month trial by going to thegreatcoursesplus.com forward slash braincraft.